Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. Today's video is probably going to take me a few weeks to put together. Uh, we're going to be trying out the ramp rack in a variety of different situations so that you can figure out if it's something that would work with you. Oh, to be specific, the ramp rack sport. You have locking pins here on each side that will actually keep the whole ramp from falling down. If you don't want someone to open this, you have this spot where you can put in a padlock and that'll prevent this gate from being able to be open while your padlock is on. In order to disengage those, it's very easy. You just push forward. And there's a little retainer right here where it just holds it. Same thing on this side, just push forward. And then from there, you just go ahead and pull it out. The struts control it so well that you actually have to fight a little bit to get it down because they lift a lot of the weight. So very easy, you saw me do it with one hand. Now at this point, I can see a lot of people saying, oh, you'd never use a ramp rack with a deck. I, I don't know how you're gonna use this. My job is not to tell you, you have to get this ramp rack or you can't use it like this or you have to use it like this. I don't know how you're gonna use it. My goal in this video is to try and show you as many different applications as I physically can so that you can decide if this is good for you. These deck storage drawers do, work with this ramp rack. You can see that the side collars, the dovetail, none of it interferes with these opening. If you don't have drawer locks without your tailgate, there's nothing to stop people from getting in and opening these things. That is not particularly an issue for me because I have these locks on them so I can physically lock those. Now then the next question is, well, how are you supposed to drive something up here with the deck thing in the way? That doesn't make much sense. And I'll agree with you, for things like zero turn mowers or stand on mowers, I don't think I would want to try and drive it up over that. That's just too high of an angle. It's, I mean, it's too tall. You can't get a caster wheel over that, right? This is almost a foot high, so that's not going to work. I think what will work are maybe things like motorcycles, not motorcycles, motorbikes, things that uh, are going to be a little bit lighter, maybe push mowers. I've got a, uh, a brush hog that I'm going to try and get up here. Things where you can pivot them back on their back wheels, get the front of it on, and then lift up from there. This deck system will support 2,000 pounds, so I'm not necessarily worried about once the thing is on here, I'm just worried about this transition. So if you plan on running a ramp rack sport with a deck box, let's see what type of things you can get up there. So our first test is with a Toro BRC28 brush cutter. This is self-propelled, so I think it should be relatively easy to get it up the ramp rack over the deck system and I've got some wood skids that I'm hoping once I get it up to a certain point I'll be able to lift up on the back and pivot it over this front right here so that, that might be too much weight on the deck system and it could break that I don't know we'll see and uh, from there I can kind of just push forward on those wood blocks or those wood planks until the tires catch and that can drive a little bit further so let's see if that'll work I was able to get most of it over and it felt like maybe, maybe I was close to being able to push it over, but I did not feel safe while I was doing that. I felt like I could get it up to where I could push it over, but I don't think the wheels were gonna be contacting anything. And then it would be just me having to push it forward. I don't think I could have done that from the position I was in, not safely at least. So it's possible I could have done it unsafely. It's possible somebody with a little bit more strength than me could have done it a lot easier but I don't think I could have. So then I had a thought, well, could I back the brush cutter up? And I don't think I can because you can see I've got about 12 inches worth of ramp rack. And I think it's just a clearance issue because this section, which I would hit before the tires 
is only nine inches. So even though I would like to be able to, I don't think I can load that brush cutter forwards or backwards with the uh, decked system attached. So it's a day or two later and I couldn't help but ask myself, well, Brad, you couldn't get the brush hog up, but what if you built a janky ramp for the ramp rack? So that's what I did. Now, <laughs> listen, uh, this is not a good idea, okay? This is not smart. This is not how Ramp Rack intended you to use this. But again, my whole point in doing this is trying to use this in as many situations as you can. And if somebody out there wants to use this with a decked box, this is the only way I can think to get something on top of it. So what we have is wood from those pallets you saw earlier. We've got this giant block that we've screwed together. So this is now one piece. Then we've dropped a couple of screws that'll secure these planks to that block. We've rounded that off so it's pretty much level with the deck. And then we've sunk carriage bolts, one on each side, through the mesh. And on the other side is washers and a wing nut. So this should be about as safe as something like this could be which I don't think is very, but again, we're doing it as safe as possible. The other thing I realized too is that anything I put up this ramp, I should not be behind. It should always be me backing something onto it and then me driving something off. Because if I'm going up with something and I'm behind it and something happens and it starts falling, well, now I'm between it and the ground and that's not good. But if I'm backing it up, and now something happens and it, I just have to let go, I won't be between it and the ground and it can just go. So that's another thing I messed up on. So we're learning a whole lot with this. Now what we're gonna try and do is see if we can get the brush hog up the ramp rack, up the brad rack onto the decked toolbox. <laughs> My brother helped me build this. He did it almost under protest because he was so concerned with how sketchy this is. Sean, you, there's, there's no liability on your end if this ends badly. I appreciate your help. I know there's going to be somebody out there who is thinking that I'm trying to say you should do this. All I'm doing is giving you as much information on this ramp rack system as I can. Since it's not outside the realm of possibility that somebody says, I want to use this with a deck. I wonder if I can. I'm going to see. So now the idea is with just a couple of screws and undoing those wing nuts, you can now take that ramp apart, stow it back there and then you can transport your brush hog wherever you need it to go. You've got some tie downs here on the deck system where you can uh, secure this. You can see this thing is just close to, uh, to smacking into the truck. So it's a good thing I've got this uh, headache rack. This could be another tie down point for this. So I think what this proves is that if you're not afraid to build a janky ramp to bridge the difference in your ramp rack and your deck system, yes, you can use your deck system with the ramp rack. Now, should you? I don't think so. <laughs> I will tell you, I am not gonna try and take a mower up there. This, this was another thing that my brother and I debated. He thinks that once this starts going down, it's just like, there's not gonna be any stopping it. So I've made sure there is nothing but empty road. <laughs> so if for some reason this just goes crazy, I can just let it go. I think with the power of the hydraulic system that it will just slowly go down.
can you really say you've done any work on a brush hog if you haven't ground some concrete down with the metal skids i don't think you can on this one sean might have been right going down <laughs> I didn't have much control over that. Now, I will say I didn't try and go in reverse or anything. It didn't go crazy, but that was definitely the machine was just doing what it wanted to. I tried to pull back on it, and I don't think I was doing much of a difference on it. Possible, yes. Smart, no. <laughs>